Here it has been nearly 50 years since Diane Lake, the youngest member of the Manson family, lived with Charles Manson in his notorious cult. And now she's breaking her silence in her first TV interview. That was with you, Amy. That's right. In fact, Lake chronicles her years with Manson in her new book, Member of the Family. And she talks about how she eventually helped put Charles Manson behind bars. His name has been synonymous with evil for nearly 50 years. Charles Manson, the cult leader who turned the summer of love into a season of killing, directing his followers on a murderous spree in the summer of 1969. Manson actually gave you all knives. Yes, he did. It's like he actually gave you stabbing lessons. Yes, he did. Is Charles Manson an inherently evil person? I think he was used for evil. And this may be his least likely family member, Diane Lake. Today, she is a church-going mother of three. But in the 60s, her parents were hippies when she met Charles Manson. And now she is telling her whole story in a new book. Reading your book, it seems as though you meet Charles Manson and within moments, he's betting you. It seemed very natural and loving. You were 14. I was 14. He was how old? He was probably 34. I believe he's 20 years older than I am. Were you attracted to him? He was cute, impish, um, you know, fun. Can you describe what drew you to Charles Manson, what it was about him? He made you feel like you were his one and only love. You know, and yes, there were other girls, but we all we all shared him, but he, he, he made you feel really special. You did know? you love him? Yes, I did. Did he love you? I always thought he did. Now I'm not so sure. For two years, she lived with Manson's so-called family, befriending the people who would eventually become infamous killers. And they really were your family? And they really were my family, yeah. Did you ever see a dark side to any of them? Why were they there in the Manson family? I think we were all misfits looking for love and affection. It began with talk of love and peace and that entire hippie movement. And, and then it turned dark. And Charlie started talking about Helter Skelter, a race war. How concerned were you when you saw that evolution? It didn't feel right. But yet, it, the evidence seemed to be overwhelming that this is the way the world was going, that this, 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 these, these were true prophecies. Did you think that he was the second coming of Christ, that he was a Messiah-like figure? Yes, I did. So it, it, it's bizarre to think that, that we could have ever believed it, but we did. Did you have any idea that something evil was brewing? Not, not really within the family. She knew nothing, she says, of the plan to kill. And yet over the course of two days in August of 1969, Lino and Rosemary LaBianca, Stephen Parent, Abigail Folger, Wojciech Frykowski, Jay Sebring, and actress Sharon Tate had all been brutally murdered. And they gave you the gory details. They, I got gory details. And as I, what I remember is that they gave me the gory details with a certain amount of glee or almost like bragging. I mean, which just made me feel even worse. I mean, it, it was like, what? You ultimately sat in court looking right there at the man you worshipped, the man you loved, Charles Manson, and you testified against him. Can you describe how that felt? My biggest fear, really, was that I was going to succumb to that feeling of loyalty that I had had for him, and that he was going to, you know, mesmerize me. But he didn't. The spell was broken. The spell was broken. As for why she wrote this book now, Diane says it's been healing after nearly 50 years to finally tell her story. I feel very unburdened and I feel untethered from the shame of being associated with this person who has become the, you know, icon of evil.
Remarkably, Diane told no one other than her husband about this. All of her friends, her family, her three children, no one knew about this. So started a now. brand new life. Exactly. She completely changed her name and changed her life, but now she's speaking out. And member of the family is out today. You can see more of my interview with Diane Lake also tonight on Nightline.